the COVID-19 special session just kicked off at 5 o'clock at the state capitol. Republican lawmakers are hoping to use the time to stop COVID-19 requirements like mask and vaccine mandates. State capitol reporter Gerald Harris is in Nashville where lawmakers are preparing to take up a lot of COVID-19 bills. The General Assembly is back in session and the first item on the to-do list for the GOP majority is changing how the state responds to the COVID-19 pandemic. We've ensured that we have a really robust economy here in Tennessee. So what we're trying to do over the next week or so is to make sure that every employee, every business has a voice in how we respond as Tennesseans to COVID-19. Nearly 100 bills have been filed so far. That includes banning proof of COVID-19 vaccinations from customers or employees, allowing fired COVID vaccination refusers to collect unemployment and punishing local prosecutors for refusing to uphold the law. As we go through this, for all of us to go through this together and just kind of lower down the tone a bit. Proposed bills also target the governor's power. Do you think your emergency power should be weakened? But so far, Bill Lee is remaining silent as his administration has faced losing efforts in trying to rid the state of school mass mandates. It's called a political agenda. Representative Karen Camper, the Democratic leader in the lower body, says this is an attempt to score political points. This is a manufactured crisis, right, that the Republicans is pushing their own political agenda by bringing us here, using taxpayer dollars unnecessarily. This is stuff we can do when we come back in January. She adds businesses will be the first to be negatively impacted. I say people want to come to work in a safe environment. And I think businesses know their business. They know what it takes to make the environment safe. And workers should be assured that the businesses and the companies that they work for want them to be there in a safe environment. In Nashville, I'm Gerald Harris. So far, the federal government has not released specific vaccine requirement plans for businesses with more than 100 employees, but federal workers are required to be vaccinated or go through weekly testing. We'll keep you updated.